Hello everybody coming at you with all my might. It is my how you guys doing today? Yesterday I had quite the adventure. I was working in a different office. So I went on a route that I've never done before, which happens quite often in this office because they have so many more routes than my office. So once I got my truck all loaded, I headed out to the first delivery and it was a cluster box. So that's like an apartment complex or something like that that has a bunch of mail. So I go to the box and you know, so a lot of the times the, some of them are nicely labeled and others you're struggling with. But the problem is, is a lot of the times is, is if there's no names, it's hard to find. And people don't get their mail sent right. So they don't have the apartment number on the mail and that makes it hard for subs like me to f figure out where they go. So that takes some time. So I was sitting there struggling, trying to figure out where stuff went. When all of a sudden I see a yellow jacket and you're like, really? Another B story, Smite? I'm like, hey, it's true. So I'm sitting there and like I said, this is two cluster boxes. So I'm servicing this one and the yellow jacket kept flying around this one. I'm like, that dang thing. And obviously I don't want to play with no yellow jacket. And it was brought to my attention in the last video when I say bees, I say bees to cover a wide basis, a wide basis. Bees and yellow jackets are not the same, but everybody calls them bees. So we're just gonna call them bees. But yellow jackets are like the devil. They're way worse than bees. So he's flying around and I'm like, okay, well, I have to start to go over there. So I'm just gonna wait till the sucker lands and then kill him. And he's like checking out each individual mailbox. And I'm like, what in the heck is he doing? So I get my newspaper I have and I roll it up and I'm like, all right, here we go. And I went to hit him and I missed. And then he started flying at me, but I don't think he knew exactly where the threat came from. Uh, Cause he was like in, when he landed, he was like half in, half out. So I couldn't get a good swing. And plus I was scared. <laughs> so when I did that, then he flew off. I'm like, okay, we're good. So I'm servicing the box some more. And then all of a sudden there's, I see a boom. When I'm like, he's back already. And I'm like, look, and I'm like, uh. So I get my paper and I roll it up again. And I'm sitting there, he lands just on the corner of the box. I whack him. And I think I like chopped off a couple legs or something like that. Cause then he flew off and it, we kind of like So I'm like, okay. There's one down, we're good now. I'm continuing to service the box. I'm like, what the heck, he's back again? So I, get, I grab my paper again and I'm like, all right, whacking that one, I killed him. I'm like, yeah. He's there rolling around on the ground, twitching. I go in for the finisher and stomp his head in. And I'm like, okay, well, we should be good now. B's dead, yellow jacket. And we're all good and there's another one. I'm like, wait a minute. Why do they keep coming? This doesn't make sense. So I kill that one and then another one shows up. I'm like, holy crap, now we're up to three. There's way too many yellow jackets. I'm looking around, look. And wouldn't you know it, right in the box, in the outgoing mail slot, there's a slot and that's where a postman sticks his key in and he unlocks it and he opens the whole entire box by that uh, that outgoing mail slot. Why don't you stick your postman key and open that door? Well, sure enough, I look in there and there is a yellow jacket nest. Literally three inches from where I just stuck my hand in and pulled a lever to open up the whole box. There was a yellow jacket nest. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I literally was, could have grabbed a yellow jacket nest and it was active too. I looked and there was like two of them uh, crawling around on it. I'm like, oh man. So now I have to stick to shut the box. I don't have any, any wasp spray or anything. Uh, the only thing I have is mace and you're not really supposed to mace bees or yellow jackets mostly because it would be inside a box and that leaves a residual so someone could actually get burned from me macing them so i can't do that so i'm like shoot i have to stick my fingers back in there 
and there's no way I could get a good swing to hit this nest or anything around it because it's in the slot. Oh man, I'm like sitting there freaking out. Plus it's making me late and I'm no, I don't know this route so I'm already half lost as it begins with so I'm like crap. So I take my trusty paper again and I'm like all right so I roll it up nice and tight I stick it in and I pull up the lever because you have to pull up the lever then shut the doors and then it latches so I'm, I'm st I, I shut the doors I pull up that lever and click it seats I'm like all right so I, I take my key I uh, shut the mail slot and I pull it out and I didn't get attacked by bees I was freaking out though because that was literally a hive. Oh, <laughs> that cat is mourning a dead cat. It was literally a hive of yellow jackets and I killed three of them. And I seen like two or three more. So I was like, oh man. So when it isn't a dog, it's a yellow jacket or vice versa. I've, I've like, I honestly have had more run-ins with yellow jackets than I have dogs, but Yesterday, I did actually have a case where I thought I was gonna have to mace a dog. Like, I went up to the house, I threw something in the mailbox, and I turned around and walked away. And you never know when people have invisible fences, so I hear this big earth shaking woof. I turn around and look, and here comes this big. It was like a boxer mix. I mean, he kept charging. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I've never, I had my mace out, out of my bag, into my hand, because I have it strapped on my bag. So I'm ready, I'm ready, because it only has like a five foot range. So you have to wait until you're attacked to get them with the mace. So I'm like, all right, here we go. And he comes running in and he just stops and he's running along the tree line I'm like, oh, okay, visible fence. But you never know, like I was scared. That was a big dog. I also was charged by a little dog, but he didn't come off his porch. Like I went onto the porch to deliver in the mail and then I heard, as soon as I got off the porch, I heard a dog running, yipping around. So I'm like, oh man. So that was my adventure. So needless to say, all of this caused me to be late, uh, according to a normal round. So I had people, <laughs> I had people show up to take some mail off me. So one guy shows up and he's talking and apparently my mail all got missorted by the machine. So my loops weren't right. They were jumping here and there because I was supposed to park one spot and do like four loops. But instead it had me go do this top one and jump down back here. So the one dude sorted that all out. And then another dude showed up and he was like, oh, I'm supposed to do this. And then so <laughs> and pretty soon another guy showed up so there's like four mailmen at one spot and he just beeps away he's like yeah every good i'm like yeah so they, the what it says is the the ccas and stuff like that and the regulars when they get done with their stuff they check on the people that are helping and since i was in just helping that office they came in and checked on me but everybody ended up getting back at their normal time it didn't cause any problems so but and then I forgot to tell them about the yellow jacket nest. So I'm like, ah, shoot. I had texted the supervisor I was working with. I'm like, hey, uh, there's a yellow jacket nest, active yellow jacket nest in that cluster box. He's like, oh, okay, thank you. And I'm like, yep, no problem. Because that's the last thing. I can't believe I was literally like three inches away from grabbing a yellow jacket nest. Oh man. That would have ruined my day because that was literally my first delivery. And then I would have had like 60 stings on my stinking hand because I already killed three of them and I already seen three more. So you know there's at least, you know, six to 10 yellow jackets at that stupid nest. Well, it's one of those things, each time you get, you do one route, you actually, I mean, you actually have that implanted in your mind. So the next time you're not totally lost, but I've only done two out of the 50 routes in that place. So it's gonna be a while. Whereas my office that I'm working in now only has like six, no five, it has five routes. And I've done a, a section of every route so far, so. And I know the whole city because I drive around delivering parcels on Sunday for Amazon, so. So that's the latest scoop, that's my adventures. I know you guys really have been enjoying the stories about my work and what's been going on, so that's what inspired me to make more videos. 
Thank you to each and every one of you for watching the videos and I mean sharing. Like I said in a couple videos back, all your support and all your views, all the AdSense revenue is going to pay for this bike. It is currently, I'm actually pretty much making my bike payment just with AdSense. And that really helps out because I need tires on this bike and that's another $300 I have to spend. And I just helped my wife out for getting her bike. So that, that my extra, extra money, I helped her to get her onto the road. So like I said, you have no idea how much you're helping by just watching the videos, hit that share button and hit the like button, you know, whatever brings more views or makes the world of a difference. Thank you so much for your comments. Look forward to more stories. I'm always gonna have stories, that's for sure. And we're gonna get out and do more dual vlogs once the wife gets more comfortable on her bike. But have a nice day and God bless. Thank you again for watching. And I hope to see you all in the next video. God bless.